This is Learning with Mr. Learner. Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be discussing the full stroke and the tap stroke. Once you're set up properly behind your drum, the full stroke is going to be from the top of your stroke down, striking the pad, and then using your wrist and the rebound that comes off of the drum to get back to the top of that stroke. This can be from a high position, as well as from a medium position, even to a low position. Here is a playing example of a large full stroke. Notice the stick is starting in this position, moving through a fluid motion all the way down to the pad and does not stop its motion until it reaches here again. Watch closely again. So you want to be able to execute that with your right hand and of course your left hand as well. Let's practice that left hand. We'll do four together. One, two, three, four. A great way to practice this is to have both of your hands playing at the same time and watching that their motions match each other as well as looking at your wrist on both hands to make sure that they are moving in the same fashion. You can use your eyes to watch the tips of the sticks as well. So check this out. If you're playing this properly, the sticks should be coming down together, striking the pad at the exact same time, and then rebounding together fluidly. Now we're gonna have a play along section with an exercise called 16 on a hand using our full strokes. This is going to go through 60 beats per minute, 80 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute, 120 beats per minute, 140, and 160. So we're just jumping up by groups of 20. If you cannot play along at those higher tempos, that's okay. I'll spend more time in the lower areas building your muscle memory. So we need to move on to what's next, which is going to be our tap stroke. The tap stroke is essentially the same thing, but starting at a lower starting position. 
it still has the same idea of starting in your starting position, striking the drum pad, and coming back to that same position. So, if we watch, this will be about a three inch strike. And then same thing with the other hand. Okay, the next play along section is going to be those same tempos, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, and 160. Feel free to play along and keep those heights nice and low. So we've reached the end of the lesson. I want you to continue to practice 16 on a hand in full strokes and your tap strokes to build up that kinetic memory or that muscle memory or memory of motion. This is the foundation for our single strokes, both in the right hand and in the left hand. So enjoy practicing, bust out that metronome and make sure that you're lined right up with it. And I'll see you in the next lesson. This is learning with Mr. Learner. Now go practice!